Yo, what's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at what could possibly be coming on Thursday and what is new on Thursday. Now listen, match pass, don't forget to get your free coins and complete this match pass. You do have another two weeks to do it, but I know a few people will probably just sleep on this. If you haven't been playing the game, you're just logging in. You do get 30 coins now on the free match pass, but I don't think there's going to be anything coming, and I've said this for weeks, before eFootball 2025, right? There's no domestic competitions at the moment. The events are still the same. Yes, you can complete all the events. I would advise to complete the Spanish one, the Flexible Showdown, and the Argentina one. If you haven't done so, it's your last chance to get it, and you will get, you know, potentially maybe six to seven free players there, as well as the trainers, as well as the free spin as well, with the Italian agent, which will show you right here. But yeah, it's not going to be anything major, I think, until eFootball 2025. We already know they're getting rid of the contracts with V4.0, which will probably roll into eFootball 2025. And as for the rest of the cards, we know what we're getting, right? There is no tweet put up by Konami at the time of recording. Um, and I've, I'm in meetings for the rest of the day, so we decided to record now. Platini, they've all come, you know, but the likes of Varan, the likes of Fletcher, Scolzi, Beckham, Lampard, and the new Rummy. There's going to be a lot of new cards coming. Now, whether the levels go up, whether you're able to train them in different ways, whether it'll be different players for different events or something, that's going to be all to talk about with eFootball 2025, right? I've done a couple of wishlist videos. We've also talked about a lot of stuff in our streams. If you've missed it out. And I'm going to do a kind of a cover-all video for everything we know about eFootball 2025, probably next week, okay? There's a couple of little bits to get through there, a couple of playtest uh, stuff to get through and my thoughts on a couple of bits and pieces that I'll be allowed to talk about quite soon, and be able to talk about quite soon. But these are legends that they have not released yet, right? They're in the DB, the same as uh, Maradona and Alonso and Romario, but they haven't been released yet. Also, with the Spanish and Argentina pack, that is tied to the event, as well as the free spin at the Italian League Player of the Season. season you can get that with the events. There's 20 players in here. If you haven't done it, I mean, worst case scenario, you get a, a four-star player or a five-star player that you're just able to release. Uh, they will be doing away with the contracts. I honestly think that they're probably going to wait for eFootball 2025 to maybe overhaul the cards a little bit. I'm not expecting massive changes for the first month of launch. I think what Konami will probably want to do, because the game is so financially successful, they'll probably just want to get a lot of cards out and they'll probably want to just kind of like keep this, the ship steady for launch before they start making too many changes to the ecosystem or the infrastructure. You know, I would be shocked if they bring in a transfer market day dot one on uh, eFootball 2025. It could come or some sort of trade feature. I've talked about that in, in previous videos. But I do think that for, the, for launch, I think Konami will just want to get the game launched out with no issues, no bugs, no glitches, and have it playing and have people be able to actually play eFootball 2025 with a very small kind of like uh, change up are a big, you know, difference in transition and over from eFootball 24 to 25. We know we're going to be getting lots of new stuff anyway, as well as the changes to eFootball 2025 with V4.0, with the contract situation and all that. But we also know that we're going to be getting transfer window signing cards. Now, we get this every year. Obviously, if you remember the likes of Nkunku, you remember the likes of Rudiger from the year before with eFootball 22 and 23 and 24. This is going to be, I think, Mbappe. You've got also the new boy, Yoro, from uh, Lille to Manchester United. You've got Morata, who we'll check out in a second. There's a lot of players. Obviously, you've got Olise as well from uh, Crystal Palace uh, to Bayern Munich. Um, Douglas Luiz, of course, you know, from Aston Villa to Juve. This is just a couple of mock-ups that we did. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, listen, I don't think that these are going to come Thursday. I would be surprised because it's a little bit early yet. And obviously with the Euro and the Copa America competitions just finished and the Olympics about to kick on, I'd be surprised if they start the summer transfers this early. Usually they tie it in to the new game, the new update. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, we're just trying to predict some stuff. There's no real news out there at the moment in the public. Um, and when we are able to discuss eFootball 2025, we will discuss it in depth on the live streams and stuff. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And let me know where you're at with eFootball 2025. Are you hyped? Are you not? Are you just waiting to see what comes? Or are you keeping an eye on other games? Let me know in the, in the comments below and I'll talk to you in a bit.